How's it going, everybody? Now I'm gonna play a new series called Coffee Talk. So I found this game on Steam. Actually, I played it on PS4, but I found this game first time by Steam. It's a kind of like a visual novel game, this game, and I love visual novel game. So we're playing as a barista. I've read from the review. We're playing as a barista and we're listening to we're gonna listen to how people's problem and shit like that. And I kinda I'm really I really love games like this where it's just you know just chill story. Just simple problems no action just you know happy happy. So let's try to get into it. Okay. Seattle. 2020 oh okay trophy already <laughs> a city filled with dreams and madness okay so we're in Seattle a time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history oh yeah I've read that this game is not about human all oh, like there's many species like aliens and shit like that a time oh, yeah, already. a time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed okay but still it is a place and time where anything can happen Muhammad Fahmi? that sounds like an Indonesian name it is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups okay see we have elves we have orcs is that werewolves at the front? Is that demon on the right? What? When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. Okay, those dwarves. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to, to improve their lives. They become hackers now, I see. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. I see. So is it just Seattle that have many species? Or the whole world? See, Dio Mahesa. That sounds like an Indonesian name. Is it an Indonesian people that created this? I'm gonna search for it. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. Uh huh. Oh. Sorry, days got installed. They are sold over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. I see. No, they, no, that name sounds European. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. Is this gonna be our coffee shop? A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. I see. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. All right, here we are. Oh, hello, lady. There, you, you can see there's a cat woman there at the back. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Yeah, that's me. That's my voice. Hey, Zalfa. How's the night so far? Is that good voice acting? <laughs> it's calm, as usual. You've got a slight... Oh, it's mine. We've got a slight problem though. Huh? What happened? Her face. My supplier made some logistical errors. Damn suppliers, man. Oh no, she looks so sad. I don't have half of my ingredients today. I cannot make coffee. Man, that's a bummer. Huh? Don't worry. 
I can still serve the cafe you desperately need. Of course, nothing like a good caffeine at the middle of the night, right? That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You are our first customer after all, I see. Thank you, Freya, for always be here. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Oh yeah, it's been a long day. Huh, writer's block again, nothing good to write, you got that right, what are you writing, what are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Is that a coffee? Ah, pardon the interruption, the machine is ready, the machine not the coffee is ready, what? <laughs> Do you want your triple shot espresso now? I see. Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Why would I check my phone if I, if I forgot how to create coffee? How to make coffee? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. So, okay. Tomodachi! So, this is Freya. Birthday, 29 January, writer for the evening whispers, talk about mundane things, or no, friends only, close friends only. Georgie, oh, Georgie is our friend too, okay. Now status about Georgie. Gala, oh, he looks awesome. Look at that, look at that beard, the Gala. Huh? So, what does she want? She wants. I already forget what she wants. Your free trial will start tomorrow. Okay then. Is this copyrighted the song? Nah, I don't care. Because the song is part of the game. If I muted the song, you won't feel the game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So this is the lock. Triple shot espresso. Okay. Let me check. Triple shot espresso. Coffee, coffee, coffee. All right. Coffee three times. Coffee. Coffee and coffee. Brew it. There it is. One cup of it's my one cup of triple shot espresso coming right up. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm, <laughs> that aroma. Exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Ah, yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. Oh, what do you want, Freya? Find stories about pedophile. That's big. So a novel? Oh, she's a writer, not a journalist. What am I talking about? So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> Why is she laughing like that? Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? Gra or GRA, GRA Media, right? Yes, and they are also THE biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, 
I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, triple dot. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real, lady? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do now, Freya. It's fine, take your chance. So, how did he react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. That's good. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings. Ah, that's good. Good luck, Freya. And get the fiction publishing division. <laughs> to sign me up for a publishing deal. Would you believe that? That sounds great! Awesome! What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? She's gonna quit one of the job, right? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadline. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Oh Freya. Ouch. That's harsh. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. You're behind on schedule, aren't you? Again, don't look at me like that. Don't judge me. I'm sorry, Freya. But that's my job to judge people. <laughs> How far along are you? Uh... <laughs> yeah, she's laughing, so she it's, it's gonna be bad. I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. I bet it's gonna be like SpongeBob, isn't it? Just D. <laughs> hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see? Um, well, uh, a dog ate it. <laughs> it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. Oh, Freya. So, zero? <sighs> yes. I really needed to finish it in at most two weeks. Then, I used the extra work to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If, if you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. Gosh. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. Oh, I'm the source of inspiration, baby. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be so service. You know that I. This is a coffee shop, but I don't. I'm not. I don't only serve coffee. I also serve inspiration. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Welcome. Welcome to Zelfa's Coffee. We serve the best coffee in the town. How, how do I, how should I sound her? Hey there. It's, it, that's the same voice, isn't it? Hello. Good, good evening. For here, uh, Miss. Yeah, yes, please. Okay, I don't know how to sound her. <laughs> she sounds like Freya too. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not plan to be awake all night. So uh, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please? Alright, chocolate coming right up.
with chocolate, chocolate, dark chocolate, 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 chocolate. <laughs> That's not something with chocolate in it. That's chocolate. <laughs> okay, choco powder, choco powder, and choco powder. Here you go, ma'am. One dark chocolate coming right up. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. <laughs> because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight. It's mostly empty. <laughs> Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Freya, don't, don't you laugh at me. Yep, what she said. Then why? Uh, I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's true. There's always someone lonely at night. That's fascinating. Uh, pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? Uh, that's a secret. Company secret, ma'am. So far, here's a damn rich. That's the secret. <laughs> oh, really? Shama, she's exaggerating. Don't worry about it, self. I can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many, not so many options for that. Ah, uh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Now I'm selling her out. Oh, shut up! Wow, <laughs> that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories, weird sexual fetishes. <laughs> Sorry. I also contribute to their stories, stories, short stories, stories, stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you! <laughs> I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool! Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be, uh, I should be, but I don't even know what to write about. Oh, another customer! Is that the boyfriend? Oh, hello! Look at him! Mr. Cool Guy over here. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chance with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? <sighs> Surprise me. God damn you, handsome elf. And an elf with a demon. That's some unique combination right there. What kind of order is that? Come on. Well. I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something better to keep me awake with milk. Because grown man drinks milk. Yes, they do actually. I drink milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. I see. Uh, can you repeat that again? Bitter, so coffee with milk. Coffee with milk. Uh, okay, so okay, something bitter and coffee too. And some latte art. Coffee, 
milk. How do you do latte art? What is this? Green tea? No, not green tea. No, uh, brew. Ah, latte art. I see. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So, I'm gonna draw. Uh, how do I pour milk? H. Uh, what? That, that's nothing. Haha. <laughs> Alright. I don't even know what this is. Haha. <laughs> Haha! <laughs> oh! Tra magnifique! Yeah! Oh, I see, okay, okay. So we pour the milk first. Alright, that's some good milk. And then I'm gonna. No! Etch it! Etch it! That's too much milk. This is not even art. <laughs> yeah, this is some good abstract right here. <laughs> God damn it. I'll do better next time. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Here's your order. <laughs> is this what you call it? Don't you dare. That's an art right there. That's kid. He's so mean! Perfect. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh, yeah. I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh, my. Where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Nice to meet you, Bailey and Lua. Word name, Bailey. Hey, I'm Freya. Nice to meet you both of you. I'm Zalfa. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the evening? Uh hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the evening whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, Mr. Cool Guy out here, of course. Please tell me what you work, what you do as a job. Please tell me. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. Of course, of course, of course, a designer. With those scarves, with those, with this scarf. Always a designer. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve. Yep. He's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? <laughs> no, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design visuals department. I wouldn't be able to start working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customer this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. <laughs> nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Oh, I'm not just good with this fist. I'm good with the guns. <laughs> oh my god, sorry. Not as good as your coffee making skill though. Hey, hey, you can make fun of my letter art, but don't make fun of my coffee making skill, okay? Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. 
Anyway, I really need to start writing whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you to in the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Goodbye, Freya. What are you going to write? That's that's not her voice. Oh, not far. Just over at the table at the corner. Next to me knows where I can see the rain and I can get my inspiration. That's my spot. Ah, oh, okay. Have fun. Huh. <laughs> I'll try. She's laughing but she sounds so dis depressed. Uh, but she looks so depressed. Good luck. Thanks. Should we move to other seats too? So we can have the time for both of us. Nah, here is good. Oh. Oh. She prefers to sit with me. Yeah, Bailey, take that. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I tell your boss was always a happy go lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened. But it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest clients? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. He keep nagging me. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bill. She keep asking for friends' price. What an asshole. I could go on forever complaining about her. But that won't help me out with it. He should make a meme about her. And post it on Reddit. And lose my crown project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. <laughs> you should ask Zelfa here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh, lady. Oh, hey, you. I'm the best here with dealing annoying clients. Oh, yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? By looking them in the eye and saying, then I am a great person. That, sorry. The ones, the ones you don't need your fees to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. That's right, customer confidentiality. You think I work? I, you think I take my work not seriously? I'm serious about this. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Oh, 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 oh no. Your parents? Yes. So you talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Huh. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. They're racist. That's what happened. That's what they say. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at a Pharaoh's place right now. Pharaoh's? That sounds like a girl's name. They kick you out? You don't have to do this, you know. We can just run away and get married. On another country. <laughs> They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still. You don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Tell me. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me? No other elves would want to be with, a, to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Oh. 
shit, ma'am. That's exactly what they said. Oh, parents. Oh no, that's that's very bad. That's very bad. <laughs> so this is it then? The end of our relationship? No. No, we've only just talked for like 15 minutes. I was waiting for your love stories, not the end of love stories. It doesn't have to be. You know, our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can tell them that we are in a... <laughs> we can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. Why? Why cannot they just elope? And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about that permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. Oh, Baileys. Oh, Baileys. I can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. Why? Why why would he lose his immortality if he severed his tie? If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I cannot live anywhere without you. <laughs> I don't mind a bit. Ah You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. Love is the only reason. There's nothing that could separate us. <laughs> you know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! No! Don't leave me alone, Lua! I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. No, sir. Sir, please. It's fine. I love hearing about your problems. It's fine. That's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Uh, I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no, yeah. We only serve coffee here, sir. Duh, that's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea latte? I'll take one. Haha. Green tea latte coming right up. Green tea, milk, milk. There you go. Brew it. Alright. And serve it, baby. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. Always a pressure, sir. By the way, are you married? Me? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm married to my coffee. <laughs> Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <sighs> I don't really have... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with, sir. Yeah. Love is blind, as people would say. You can, if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. Oh. I see. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebag. <laughs> Damn you, Baileys. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Yeah, elves. I mean, the story elves could live for like a thousand years and shit like that, right? <laughs> or an eternity to be an internal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. 
There's still a while until sunrise. More time to drink. Oh, sorry. I did my I did Zalfa voice with Bailey's voice. More time to for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. I'll make you another great coffee. Awesome. That's some nice stories though about them. Poor them. That that's always a hard one. When you love someone. But when you love someone, it even though both party said yes to each other, it doesn't always work like that. There's family, there's culture, there's religion. There's so much thing to think about when you want to have a relationship. I like that. You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual and we can have a great coffee again. Okay, you have a good night then. I like the nine tattoo there. What does it mean? I hope she tells us someday. You too. <clears throat> nice. Oh, Tartaric, one of my favorite drink. That was nice. That was a nice first day. <clears throat> Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. So this is another day. <laughs> the evening whispers, madness day, September 23rd, 2020. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Oh god, no, not a zombie virus. Oh my god, the zombie virus is kind of like this pandemic that's going on now, right? Easily transmitted, deadly, make people crazy. <laughs> Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. FIRE plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigrations. You know what? That was a good game i like that i really like that. i love doing the voice acting i love the character the, just the first day we only we already got two stories we got freya with her stories she's trying to create these stories she's having problems with her job and her passion she's really passionate about writing stories but she's got another job about yeah you know just a lot of people are, we take chances Sometimes we're too passionate and we text Sometimes we do too much And we're getting anxious about it Like oh my god I really want to do all of it But I don't. I just don't have the time and power and energy That's Like almost all people I believe all people Will feel that And the couples Oh yeah the couple I already talked about that even though both parties, like, if you confess to someone, like, I love you, and then she said, I love you too back. It, it's not really, uh, like, oh, okay, we love each other, we're gonna have, we're gonna live happily ever after. It's not like that. Like, there's gotta be your family and her family have to say yes to. And especially if your family has, if you and your partner family have different religion have different culture that's that's really hard to get over with sometimes even though both party agree to each other if there's the, a third party like your family don't doesn't agree it it doesn't it's not gonna work smoothly i like that so i'm gonna and it here for today. I'll do one day, one episode, 
it's so much fun. I love games like this. I love doing the voice acting. <laughs> so I think I hope I can do daily videos uh, for this. I think, so that's it for me for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.